When it happens, day will briefly turn to night and the moon will cover the sun and leave part of the nation in darkness. So no one in our area has a better grasp of events happening out of this world more than the people at the Franklin Institute. And NBC 10's Brian Mendoza, he is there with a look at what is planned for the eclipse. Hey, good morning, Brian. Good morning to you, Lucy. The day is finally here. Many of us have been waiting for it. And yes, as you mentioned, there's going to be a big celebration here outside the Franklin Institute with a viewing party. And to tell me a little bit more about this great celebration, I'm joined by the CEO of the Franklin Institute, Mr. Larry Dubinsky. Larry, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Us. Absolutely. Really excited to be here. Beautiful day here as we have this Parkway Eclipse um, party here. It's going to be wonderful. Correct. It couldn't be a better day, honestly. And tell me a little bit more about everything that's going to be taking place out yeah. here. Absolutely. We kick off at 1.30 today. We'll have tents with solar filters on top. People will be able to look up at the sun during that time frame. We'll also have some telescopes with some special filters as well, as well as some sun spotters. In addition to ways that you're going to be able to look and view this solar eclipse, we also have a beer garden. We'll have eclipse-themed food and beverage here as well. We'll also have a DJ. It's going to be a party on the Parkway this afternoon. A big celestial celebration, but tell me, when does everything start? When does everything end? And who's all invited? Yeah, absolutely. This is a free party for the community to come out and enjoy this. This is what the Franklin Institute does so well, engaging science. It'll go till five. The first kind of as the moon moves in front of the sun will happen around 2.15-ish um, with partial about 90 percent coverage which will happen about 3 15 in the afternoon but this event will take up to five o'clock this afternoon awesome thank you so much mr larry thank you. so lucy you heard it if you want to come out here after the show and join us yeah, come out here and join the celebration once again a big celestial celebration that's going to be taking place here starting at 1 30 outside the franklin institute i'll send it back to you i'm outside the franklin institute in philadelphia brian mendoza nbc 10 news I love it, Brian. A DJ and everything. That's the right way to do it. All right. Thank you. The watch parties are planned all across the area. And one of the best places to see the eclipse in our area where you can view from the sky is free. It is actually from the, t the trees in the buildings here. So NBC 10 Delaware Bureau reporter Tim Furlong live in Brandywine Creek State Park to explain. Yes, we want an unobstructed view. And look how cool you already look there. <laughs> yeah, I look cool. And these guys, the only problem with these glasses is that you can't. Sorry, oh, Lord. Oh, okay. You can't see where you're going at all, and you're going to take out your photographer. So I'm going to take them off for now. But, yeah, uh, this is not free, by the way, uh, here in Delaware at Burning Wayne Creek State Park. You have to pay the park admission at the little kiosk. We'll talk about that at 1130 maybe. But this is a great place to watch. They think they're going to get about 500 people here watching today based on the interest they've gauged. This is the Hawk Watch section of Brandywine Creek State Park, just kind of northwest of downtown Wilmington. It is just a big open area. Lots of cross-country races here, lots of big things like that. But it is a great big open high flat top place where you can watch the eclipse and get a very good view of everything that's going to happen. Uh, there's not going to be a ton of like festivities. I'm not seeing food trucks or anything showing up, but it is a big open area with plenty of parking so people can come out here and you can hang out and have a good time. So nobody here yet. If you want to come here, you can come here to Brandywine Creek State Park. It is going to be a good place to watch. You need to bring your own glasses and at 11:30 we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, paying to make sure you don't get a ticket because they want you here, but it's not free. It's a state park, so you have to pay. So we're going to talk about that more at 11:30. I'm going to keep the glasses off so I don't bump into JR again, Lucy. But uh, yes, we are we are ready. So when that eclipse happens, we can look oh, at it in the go. sun, and we have a really thick filter on our camera, an ND 100,000 filter. Uh, which is for photography geeks. Uh, that's a pretty interesting thing to see. You can't see through it at all, except when you look directly at the sun. And then the sun looks like a tiny ball, but it's safer for our cameras, safer for our yeah. eyes and all that. So yeah, it's a, for photography geeks like me and JR behind the camera, today is a pretty interesting day. So Absolutely. fun on all counts. We're going to have more at 1130. See you in a while. Listen, safety first and the rest of it is just fun. Thanks so much, Tim. We'll see you in a little bit.